I was just uh, looking over some old things I came across and uh, I found a little slip of paper that I've had for years. I never threw it away. Girl gave me her phone number. And hey, why wouldn't a, an old over the hill guy want to remember a girl giving him her phone number? But that's misleading you a little bit. Uh, this was during a period of time when um, I had a lot of frustration <clears throat> uh, where we would periodically try having a woman's self-defense class. Women would never complete even a few sessions of the course. They would come sporadically and hold up the class because they missed the previous session that we were trying to build on and generally waste my time, which I was donating. All the times I offered free training sponsored by the local Rape and Domestic Violence Center, there were never the same people in the class from night to night. And then I got the idea of offering the class for a fee, fully refundable when they completed the course. And uh, then no one came. <laughs> and it was between a couple of these frustrating sessions that uh, I ran into Connie. I had known Connie vaguely back when we were both in high school and really hadn't seen her in years. She was sweet. I liked her. She came up to me and we exchanged pleasantries. And, and then she said, do you still teach self-defense? And I said, sometimes, thinking about the, the flop that I had just had. And... Um, she scribbled something down, tore the piece of paper off, and handed it to me. It had her phone number on it. She said, call me when you start another class. I really need to learn self-defense. And the last thing she said, kind of ominously, was, uh, there's a guy I need to get away from. Well, I never had that class, and I didn't call the phone number. Sometime later... Her body was thrown out of a car into the middle of the street, right in front of a building where I had a, an apartment. And because I still had friends in the police department in those days, I got a little more information than other people did. The medical examiner said uh, every bone in her hands had been broken before she was killed. And then this cute girl was dumped like a sack of potatoes in the middle of the night. Pretty much everyone knew who did it. Uh, the guy was acquitted for lack of evidence and he left town and that was that. And Connie is one of several incidents that made me think about a better way to go about learning self-defense than the slow traditional process. I never got rid of this piece of paper, and uh, I don't think I ever will.